So John Martini is here with us also. You get a personal artist-led trip through the show with John. And we wanted to start here. I'm curious about these. I, you've been doing model prints for a long time, but I can see similar images, but the layering, I don't know the word, but it's different. What's the difference between these? Well, um, with a mono print, we, it's just that one, one print at a time. So I work with a copper plate, um, mm -hmm. and I, I make the original image. And I believe in this case, um, this was probably the first image. You run it through the press, and you come up with the, uh, a one image, the first image. And then I'll take the plate, and there's an image called the shadow image. And then I'll play with that shadow image, and I'll alter it a little bit. And you can see, it, 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 there, there becomes a depth to it that isn't there in the first. And, and the, the great thing about monoprints is that it's always a surprise. There's two great things about monoprints. One, you never know what you have until you pull the paper off the plate. And two, it may be a happy surprise mm. that you hadn't planned on. And the other thing is that they're really light and I can carry them around. As opposed to these opposed guys, to these guys. <laughs> they're huge. Yes. You have to have a crew to carry those around. Uh -huh. So, and I know you're also doing bronzes over here. Have you been doing these bronzes for a long time? I actually started doing bronzes uh, oh, quite a few years ago. And oddly enough, there was just one room in Santa Fe, or in New Mexico, that I could do I could do bronzes in. I don't know why, that's kind of an odd thing. So I, I did a bunch of one-offs which were just wax. And so you have only one example. These uh, I've been doing the last couple of years and they are uh, done in a great foundry in Miami, Run Art Foundry, uh, run by some spectacular young artists. Um, and uh, these, are, these, are, these are actually additions. And the imagery is, um, it is sort of an unusual imagery. This is actually a found object, again, from a French uh, flea market um, that somehow has always resonated with mm -hmm. me. And it, 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 it's been resonating with me for years. And it, I don't really like to talk about what the, 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 the genesis of the work is, but this has always felt like a time of foreboding for years, I've had a sense mm -hmm. of of some sort of environmental foreboding, maybe living on the edge of the ocean has led to that. Mm -hmm. So I think this kind of relates to these, at least these two pieces relate to that. And I really enjoy doing the bronzes and um, I, I hope to continue. Now this doesn't seem to me to be foreboding. That looks... Uh, well, I, <laughs> I'm not, you know, different. Uh, it is different. I, I, it, it's actually called the Beach Ball Series, and believe it or not. <laughs> That the, the the basis for that is built around a beach ball, which I deflated and, and played with, and I, I don't I don't really I don't generally describe what what it is that motivates my work, and mm -hmm. I, I just leave that one to, to speak to whatever you think about it. Yeah, it does speak. So, and then we've got quite a few of the steel works around here. Um, now, tell me about this one right here. I'm seeing a lot of this, the fire in the steel works, in the mono prints. Is that something that... You know, again, I started working on that, on that subject in, in the summer in France, and I, I wish I knew <laughs> what, the, what that was all about. I, I don't always. A lot, a lot yeah. of my work just is, is a, a matter of sitting at my sketch pad and trying to delve down into some sort of a subcon not subconscious, but some kind of, of state of, of automatic drawing. And these guys, mm -hmm. these guys have been popping out. I think the flame, um, it, it, it can be interpreted in a whole lot different ways. Yeah. I'll leave that to you. I can see why it would come up right now. Uh -huh. That makes perfect sense. And you know, the, this, this theme was actually done, started about a year ago. Mm -hmm. So they've been kind of evolving and they, they are taking more of a place in my work. Mm -hmm. um, as time goes on. Yeah, and I've seen it in some of the mono prints too. It's yeah, the, the, the mono prints are often, are often uh, stimulus for the sculpture. So they come first? In, they do. They and actually, sketches come, sketches, sketches? sketches come first. Okay. And actually, mono prints are far more automatic. It's another thing I love about it. Yeah. I mean, I enter the studio, I look at the plate, and I draw something. Yeah. And and they're they're just 
That's what's so pleasurable about it. The sculpture is a lot of work. The sculpture, the sculpture is just work from the sketch. I make a sketch, and then it's a matter of fabricating that sketch. So there isn't a lot of, there isn't a lot of distance between the sketch and between the uh, the final product, yes. other than the color, which is all often kind of random decisions. The color is random, really. Oh, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I think it very clearly. Well, you do it, have it. a palette that's recognizable. Yeah, and and I, I what I do is I, I create a set of of blank supplies, and then I draw like a palette, like yeah, like a yeah, painter yeah. draws from a palette. So I'll draw from this piece of steel or that piece of steel. Uh, whatever seems to work, or whatever is left. <laughs> <laughs>